Well, we've seen how wind is providing power all across the heartland, but the sun, especially on a day like today, is also a powerful power source. And that brings us to Steve Lonnie. Among many other things, you are in charge of all of these horse barns here at Cal Expo, barns with roofs completely covered with solar panels. This is as large a solar project, I think, as I have ever seen. How big is it? It's fairly big. We have basically about 350,000 watts we can produce right now when it's hot like this, which would be enough power to power about 120 homes. You have how many barns, how many panels? We have 26 barns and probably right around 1,000 panels on these barns producing electricity. So what is it doing for Cal Expo? It is providing basically electricity back into the power we use. It saves us approximately sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year in power we don't have to pay for from our utility district here. But these panels weren't free. No, they weren't free, but we had some good benefits. There was a basically the panels were provided from our utility company, and we had a grant uh, to help pay for them through the fares authority, and uh, we got a really low interest rate loan for some of the rest of the funds. So uh, that really helped reduce the cost. And, and you've had them now how many years? They've been up and running for the last four years. And that's just about paid for your costs, which right. what you said was about $400,000? Basically, we have about 400000 of our own capital money invested in the panels. How are the horses liking it? The horses like it a lot. It does make a cooler atmosphere for them and, uh, and the stables, and it does produce electricity and helps reduce their costs. And, and without, without the solar panels, would, would, could you really afford to heat and cool these the way you do now? Uh, we would, but it, again, it would cost us that extra money. We would have to. Obviously, we need to keep the horses in a nice atmosphere. You can't let the horses get too hot. They obviously have to have fans on the horses on hot days like this. And, and you the people that work here have down. to have the air conditioner. So, so you do have to provide that power somehow. So if the sun wasn't provided, we'd have to pay for that and have it come from the utility district.